Welcome to our Walled Garden online tutorial. This video will show you how to create a named registration order. From the home page, select Catalog from the first navigation bar. If you are a main centre, make sure that you're viewing the correct catalog for the sub-centre you wish to make an order for by selecting the appropriate centre from the drop-down menu. Ensure that Catalog within the second navigation bar is highlighted in bold. If not, please click on it. Click on the Show Approved Search button. This should now be highlighted in blue. If you are a City and Guilds and ILM provider, please choose either City and Guilds or ILM from the tabs below, depending upon which qualification you'd like to order. Orders can only be placed from one of these organisations at a time. In the Search Catalog bar, enter the qualification name, qualification number or QAN number you want to place an order for. You can also select from the appropriate qualification from within Show Approved. Click on the qualification title or name to select the correct qualification from the list now displayed below and you'll be taken to the qualification page. Note that the last registration date must be green before you can place a registration order, but you will be able to place other orders if it isn't green. Click the green Place an Order button to the right of the screen. In the Select Order Type section, click on Named Registration. This button will turn blue when selected. In the Add Candidate section, you will have the following options. Add New Candidate allows you to create a new candidate for your centre. Candidate Details lets you search for existing candidates at your centre. Cohort lets you add an existing group of candidates to your order by searching the cohort name from the drop-down list. Enrolment number allows you to add existing candidates to your order by the learner enrolment number. You can also search multiple enrolment numbers here. Other Centre lets you add existing candidates to your order that have previously been enrolled at another centre. Finally, Unique Learner Number lets you search for existing candidates by their unique learner number. For the purpose of this demonstration, we're going to add a new candidate to our order. First, click on Add New Candidate from the options. This button will turn blue when selected. Next, we add the candidate details. Make sure you complete the mandatory fields – first name, last name, date of birth and gender, which are denoted by the red asterisk. When you type in the first name and last name, you'll see that a note will appear under the last name bar, showing you how the name will appear on the certificate. You can input your own centre's reference for this candidate in the Your Reference field. There's also the option to add additional details for your candidate. If you wish to do so, click the red triangle beside Add Optional Details to expand the drop-down. It is important, especially if you are an ILM customer, that you provide a learner email address in order for them to be invited to activate their free studying membership. For ILM registrations, the email address fields will appear in the main candidate registration screen. When you're ready, click the red Add New Candidate button. A message will appear on screen, confirming that the candidate has been added to your shopping basket and asking if you wish to add another candidate. Choose Yes or No as appropriate. In the Added to Basket section below, you'll see a list of all the candidates in your shopping basket. Newly added candidates will not have an enrolment number yet. This allows you to edit or remove these candidates. If there are any existing candidates in your shopping basket, they will already have an enrolment number. You will only be able to view or remove these candidates from the basket. If you have five or more candidates in your basket, you'll have the option to create a cohort, which is a group of candidates. If you wish to create a cohort, please enter the cohort name in the text field box above the learner details and click the red Create button. You should now see the cohort name. To start the payment process, click the red View Basket button. You will now see the order summary screen. You can view details of your order by clicking the red triangle to expand the selection. If you need to make any changes, 
you can select from the relevant options. If you select Remove All, this will cancel the order and you will be taken back to the main catalogue page. Click the grey Save Basket button if you want to save this order for completion later. To proceed, click the red Continue. A pop-up screen tells you that candidates and cohorts are being created. You'll then be taken to the Payment Options screen. If you're an ILM customer, you'll be able to configure certificates for your endorsed and development programmes. If you choose to, you'll be presented with two options. Configure Certificates, which allows you to customise the certificate with approved logos or centre text, or Don't Customise Certificates. One of these options needs to be selected to continue with the order process. If you choose to configure the certificate, you'll have the option to select from a list of existing templates. Only primary users will be given the option to create a new template. Changes to the template can be applied to the original template or just for this order. Select the appropriate button. Once you have finished customising your template, click Add to Order. Click Continue if you want to proceed. In the Addresses screen, you will then be shown your billing address. If your billing address is incorrect, click Save Basket and contact your finance user or primary user who can update these details on the system. Note that if you've ordered logbooks or publications, you can choose a delivery address for these from the list. Only City and Guild's customers can currently order these materials. Select the red Continue if you wish to proceed. You'll be taken to the Payment screen, where you can select the payment type from the drop-down menu. If you choose On Account, you'll need to input a centre reference or purchase order number and then click the green Buy Now button. If you choose Credit or Debit Card, you'll need to input a centre reference or purchase order number and then click Pay Now via World Pay. You'll be taken to a secure payment site to complete payment. Finally, you will see a confirmation screen with a full summary of your order. You will have the option to print this page and send a duplicate confirmation page to your colleagues. We hope that you have found this tutorial useful. Check out our online resource hub for further information.